And we're back. This time I'm going to show you how to use the WIF tool to create a logo in Adobe Illustrator. Let us start by swapping the colors. I want to have a stroke color. Let's make it black for now, no stroke. Under view, your smart guides and snap to point should be activated. Let's use the line segment tool. Size doesn't matter. We've got a stroke weight of one point. Now we'll use the WIF tool. You can make it smaller like this, or you can make it larger, depending on in which direction you drag it. I want to have something like this that creates a random width effect, and I align it to the center. Make sure it's selected, and then press Ctrl C to copy and Ctrl F to paste in the front. I'll rotate that, and I size it down, holding Alt. And now I repeat the process a couple of times, so always Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl F to paste in front, then rotate it, and then I resize it and I hold Alt. For holding Alt, you only need to resize one anchor point, and the one on the other side will be adjusted accordingly. Alright, I think that should be enough. It looks random and is the effect that we want to have. Let me swap the colors again and I make the fill color white. I use the ellipse tool, go to the center and hold shift and alt. And I create this circle in the center position. So you can see everything is aligned to the center. Let me select it all and I do it again. And this is what we want to have. I can still resize it, holding Alt again. In some cases, it's useful. And now I'll give that different colors. I think that four colors should be fine. But I think I should add some more width using the width tool. When you come close to the positions you've already adjusted with the width tool, you can see where these positions are. When you hover with the width tool over it, let me zoom in and I can select it better. Hold Alt and use the mouse wheel for that. And once again, I want to create a randomness here. That's part of the appeal of the logo design. Maybe this one was too big, I'll size it a little bit down. And that's it. This is how you can use the width tool to create a logo design in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.